So here's a revision example from Laplace transforms. It's a two-part question. We're asked to firstly calculate the Laplace transform of this function here. And then for this function in part C, we are asked to calculate the inverse transform of that function. So we're essentially asked to produce a transform and an inverse transform. Now, how do we do it? Well, throughout lectures, we have calculated transforms by simple um, uh, approaches just using the definition, kind of first principles. But that's really not necessary. In many cases, we use a table. And in fact, a table is very important, especially when you're calculating inverse transforms, because we don't really have a, a solid definition of what an inverse transform is. OK, well, let's look at uh, the first part, part B. Here's, our, here's the table that I've been working with in lectures. What we'd like to do is sort of look down here and see if, uh, sorry, look down here and see if any of this uh, type of function lies down the left-hand side. Well, there's a reasonably general form down, uh, where is it? Ah, yes, down here. Okay, it's an ex look, look at the, our particular function. It's an exponential times a function of t. If you look down the left-hand side, we've got an exponential times a function of t. Okay, in fact, this is part of a larger theorem called the first shifting theorem that we've looked at in lectures. Okay, so if we look, at, look across to the um, right-hand side of this general concept, well, we can see that big G which represents the Laplace transform of little g, is first calculated and then shifted a units. OK, so to apply the first shifting theorem, what we do is we identify little g of t. In this case, it'll be t squared. Then we take the Laplace transform of t squared to give you some function of s. And then you shift it, a units. OK? so. Let's see if we can put that into practice. We use the first shifting theorem, which I'm going to abbreviate to FST, which is the Laplace transform of e to the minus at times little g of t is just the Laplace transform of little g of t shifted a units. Now remember, it's common convention to represent lowercase letters as, say, you know, your functions of t, and uppercase or capital letters as the transform of those lowercase letters. Okay? So, In our example, we have, okay, so a would be minus 3, and little g of t will be t squared. All right, so firstly, before we form this, let's calculate big G of s. This is just the Laplace transform of little g. The Laplace transform of t squared. So let's see if we can find the Laplace transform of t squared here. Well, if we look down here with m equals 2, we just go across and we find the transform. It's going to be 2 factorial on s to the power 3. 2 factorial is just 2. So here, I've just used a table. So now what we can do is take that and shift it a units. Here, our a is negative 3. So in our G of S, we would replace S with 
S minus 3, all in brackets. Okay, so by the first shifting theorem, we can now make the conclusion that the Laplace transform of our function is this. Okay? Now, the good thing is that you don't really need to remember the statement of the first shifting theorem. You just need to know where to locate it in the table and just a little bit of um, associated algebra. Any questions for that one? Okay. So let's talk about the second part. Calculate the inverse transform. Now, it turns out that this is also an application of the first shifting theorem. Okay, it's just that we're going the other way this time. What we're going to do, we're actually going to start with this and go back using the inverse transform. Okay, so our first um, sort of aim is to write this in a, in a sort of shifted form. Okay, now wh why can't I just take the inverse of that directly? Well, if you look down here, there's nothing quite like that. Okay, there's nothing quite like that. I mean, you might, you might be able to, um, this might be a perfect square, well, it's not, but that would be the only sort of hope for you. So, what are we going to do? Well, let's try to write it in this general shifted form. Okay. We're going to apply the first shifting theorem in the form of the following. Well, Okay, that's an S for S plus 5 down here. Okay. So our challenge, so, so this is S squared minus 4S plus 5 in the denominator. So our challenge then is just to write this in terms of this for some number A and for some function big G. What I can do then is apply the first shifting theorem. Okay, so what I can do down here is actually complete the square. Okay, so I take half the coefficient of s, divide it by 2, square it, add it and take it away. Okay, so another way of doing that would be just to play with this um, positive 5. Okay, now I'm going to choose the second approach. If I just sort of expand this positive 5, well, that will give me 4. So what am I left over with? 1. So now I can actually form a square out of these three terms. Okay, so this is looking a little bit like this.
Okay, so again, this is a 4s plus 5. Now, what will my A be? What will my big G be? Well, big A minus 2, oh, sorry, little A will be minus 2. And if this is sort of g of if, if this is g of s minus 2, what is big G of s? Correct. Okay. Okay, so we're in a good position now. We've come up with this. To get back to this um, left-hand side, in other words, to compute the inverse transform by the first shifting theorem, I want to calculate little g of t from big G of s. Now, I've got big G of s there, so let's calculate the inverse transform and then multiply through by this exponential. Okay, that's all we're doing. So, let's find the inverse transform of this. It's going to be this case with b equals 1, so the inverse transform is just sine of 1t, sine of t. So the first shifting theorem then tells us that all we do is we take this little g of t, multiply it through by an exponential, e to the minus a t. Here it will be e to the um, minus, minus 2t. And then we can um, apply the first shifting theorem and just write down our answer. So this is going to be e to the minus minus 2t times sine t. Okay. 